Hello there and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. This is just a short tutorial to show you how you can use these pre-prepared cross-hatching pattern fills. I'll leave a link to the document uh, that uh, contains these fills. It's an Inkscape file, an SG, SVG file, and uh, you can simply use that. It's probably the quickest way to duplicate these fills. Now just zoom out. There are some instructions here, but I'll show you those as we go along. But uh, if you open up my document, you can then draw what you like. If you don't, if you want to operate in the one document, you can just, of course, move all of this over off the canvas. It won't print. Then operate in here, for example. If you wanted a, an ellipse, I'll drag a quite a large ellipse there, and I'll give it a, a thicker border. Let's make it a three mil border, and make it uh, light green. Shift click. Okay, now say I wanted uh, this uh, light blue cross hatching, I can click on my sample swatch there, I guess you'd call it, Control C, and click on the destination object and Control Shift V. Now, the reason I gave it that green border is to show you that um, the hatching is pasted in there, but uh, the border is as well, and these objects don't have borders. So you'll have to reapply the border if you wanted to. So you can go shift, um, shift green, and then thicken it up to what you wanted to. You might have to go back to, to that. So it does uh, remove the border. You have to put the border back. Okay. Uh, what else? If you wanted to do this in a new object, you could go file new. I've already done that, so I just swap to the new object, and I can paste into there. Uh, let me just draw say a rectangle and I can go control shift V into that and apply the cross hatching in there as well once it's in there in that document so this pattern it's number 3837 you can apply that to other objects for example your circle in there you'd uh, click the pattern and it's uh, put it in there but it's also scaled the pattern uh, to fit I think yep yeah. if I enlarge that Okay, that's interesting. I thought it would be the same size as this one, but um, what you can do if you want to adjust patterns within an object is hit the node tool once it's selected, and you'll see somewhere in the document these three strange icons. You can drag the cross, that moves the origin of the pattern. If I zoom in and move the cross, you can see it moves the pattern within the circle, but the square if I hold down control, can increase the spacing back out. So you can use that to adjust the spacing. The circle is for the rotation of the spacing. If you wanted to control down control, you'd get it vertical, for example. So there's a fair bit of control with these icons, but they come up after you press N for the node tool after selecting the object. I'll return back to the original document. And just one more example. If I do a freeform shape, no, I'll do a, a polygon. Let's say um, a triangle. Well, no, make it a bit more interesting. So pentagon, control shift, and there. If I want to apply, say, an orange fill, control C, click on the object, control shift V to apply that orange fill. If you want a border, shift click the border color you want to put that back. Again, if I uh, want to operate in another document, swap to that document. Uh, perhaps uh, drag out the shape you want. I'm trying to get an ellipse there, didn't click it properly. And Control Shift V, put the uh, cross hatching in there. Or if I wanted a rectangle, drag that out. Control Shift V, put it in there. Not sure why I got that smaller spacing before, but uh, anyway. Hope that's of some use to you. Oh, just one other thing, if you did want to create your own uh, pattern fill from these, based on these, let's look at this. Let's say, uh, take the red one there, or Control D to duplicate that. And what you can do is, under Object, Pattern, Pattern to Objects, and that's, uh, oh here it is over here, don't know why it's <laughs> jumped over there. Now, for some strange reason, sometimes it's thickened them up. You can just under fill and stroke. See this wide width there? I'll just change that back to 0 0.2 for example. And you've got it. Now if you wanted to say create a, uh, let's see, a yellow 
or light, let's use light green, light green stroke shift click there and it changes it to light green then you can go object uh, pattern pattern to objects sorry <laughs> the wrong way around object pattern objects to pattern and it creates that uh, pattern and again you can use yeah, that's now your your own uh, custom pattern I'll draw a circle and you can apply that to anything you want Let's drag it over here Control C click on that Control Shift V and put in your pattern there so uh, yeah it's just a bit confusing when you do select uh, an existing pattern to modify and under object pattern uh, pattern to objects how it uh, thickens them up and jumps it around somewhere but uh, as I say you can just go back to the stroke menu and change that to, to whatever you want and then back to you know change the color shift to pink or whatever you wanted to and um, object pattern object to pattern again anyway a little bit of advanced pattern work but um, as I say you can just uh, copy the ones from the document that I'll leave a link to in the video description thanks as always for watching